Hey, this is Bremster, and this is number 95 in the Sudoku problem series. This is a Renban Kropke problem by Florian Wortman, and thanks Florian for sending it through. So, as always, the goal on this one is to place the digits in the cells highlighted in the um, brown boxes. Um, the There will be a link below to how you can try this, and the rules are Renban and Kropke. The way Renban works is the um, purple lines must contain sets of consecutive non repeating digits in any order and the black dots um, will contain um, digits that are or the cells separated by black dots will contain digits in a one to two ratio or one must be double the other um, that's the rules for this one uh, grab the link below where you can try this problem for yourself I'll wait for a few seconds so you can pause the video and give this one a try and then I'll be back to explain how this one works okay so the important place to start on this one actually is in row two, or at least it was for me. Um, because what you need to think about is where can certain digits go on in this row? So what you want to think about is what can go in this cell. Because if you put two um, in this cell, where can you put one in this row? Because this is the only cell that's not on a red band line. So if you put two here, you've got to put one somewhere on this line. But if you put one on a red band line, it has to go one, two, three, four. So you can never put two here. The same is true with three, because if you put three here, where do you put one? Because the one would go one, two, three, four. And the same is true with four. If you put four here, you've still got to put one on a line, which turns this into one, two, three, four. So you can never put two, three, or four here. And the same is true with eight, seven, and six. If you put eight here, where do you put the nine? You can never put it <laughs> um, on the line because the nine would need eight, seven, and six. And because the nine needs eight, seven, and six, if you put anything other than nine out of um, six, seven, eight, nine in here, you're broken. So this can only ever be one, five, or nine. Now this is a black dot. And if you put five, the ratios of five are two and a half and 10, which don't work. And nine, it's four and a half and 18, which don't work. So this becomes a one. And the only thing that is in a one to two relationship with one, it's a one to two relationship. So it's two. Now putting a two into this cell means that these immediately, because I can't go down from the two, they have to go up from the two. And these become three, four, five, and six. Now we think about this black dot. So this black dot can't be three, six. So or you can never put five on a black dot. And it can't be three, six, because the three. Um, if I put three here, the six is up here. And if I put six here, the three is up here. So this becomes a four, and there's no four in here. And four can only go with two or eight, and the two is already taken. So this becomes the eight, and that is the solution to the problem. So you've got to use the pressure of the ren bands and the dots together. I mean, that's true with all of the problems, but um, it, the secret is figuring out this cell and then using this ren band to figure out the same limitations. Really nice little pro um, problem, um, breaking the, the constraints open quite well. I, I really do like this one. Thank you, Florian, for sending it through. Hope you're enjoying the series. Hope you're enjoying all the videos. Hope you're watching them all the way through because at the moment, these videos are really unpopular. Like they get like three seconds of watch time on average and yeah YouTube does not want to promote them because of it so at the moment basically <laughs> yeah um, yeah it's a bit of a problem so uh, this series is kind of dying so we'll see how it all goes thanks everyone for watching and as always good luck with your solving